it's latoya okia welcome back to another video baby so um quick disclaimer about my camera angle y'all please excuse my camera angle y'all can see all up in my dashboard and my steering wheel and everything baby but i have no clip for my phone in here in my truck so this is the best that we could do this morning but that don't matter baby the only thing that matter is the word okay somebody put that in the comments baby go and kick this thing off right the only thing that matters is the word put that in the comments baby the only thing that matters is the word so um i just dropped my children off and i just pulled up at the gym i'm sitting in the parking lot about to get ready to go in here in the gym baby and get it in get my workout in it's the last day of the week it's friday uh, and I'm gonna finish out the week strong and go ahead and get my workout in. But it had me thinking about uh, a principle. It had me thinking about a, a key. You know, in the scripture, it said, Jesus told us, he said, and I will give unto you, I will leave for you the keys of the kingdom of God. And whatsoever you bound on earth, you're gonna bound it in heaven. And what's, he said, I'm gonna bound it in heaven. And whatsoever you loose on earth, he says, I'm gonna also loose it in heaven. And through revelation and relationship with God and listening to my mentors and just getting into kingdom and understanding kingdom teaching, I understood what exactly are these keys that Jesus left for us and how are we supposed to lock and bind and lock and bind. So, and and then he says that he gonna stand beside us and lock it also, he gonna stand beside us and bind it also. So I used to, you know, just wonder what does this mean? What does what does this scripture mean? And so through through revelation from God, because that's the thing about revelation, it can only come from God. I can't give you revelation. Somebody else can't give you revelation. Bishop can't give you revelation. Pastor, prophet, don't matter what their title is they can't give you revelation that can only come from god so revelation comes from god and is downloaded to you through your spirit in a way that you recognize and in a way that you can understand and then the word becomes real to you it's no longer just words on a piece of paper but they become life to you so when jesus was telling us about these keys that he left for us and i teach this all the time these keys through through my revelation from god i understood what these these keys are these keys are principles principles these keys are principles and a principle is a fundamental truth it is a fundamental truth and one of the things that i learned about principles is principles don't discriminate you know we live in a world where discrimination is is you know it's out there whether we want to admit it or not it's out there all kind of people get discriminated against for for whatever reasons and one of the things that I learned, like I said, about principles, about kingdom laws and principles, they do not discriminate. They do not discriminate. The principles don't care if you a white person, if you a black person, if you, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It don't matter what your race is, doesn't matter what your color, your ethnicity is. The principles don't care if you're a man or a woman. The principles don't care if you have an education. The principles don't care if you're articulate, if you're proper, if you're country. The principles don't care. The principles don't care. What I'm trying to say is all of the things that, that, you know, uh, make us who we are from the outside, like where we grew up at, where we came from, the side of the tracks you grew up on, like your last name, your your color, your race, your ethnicity, your gender, your bank account, your financial status. None of these things matter when it comes to principles. If you tap into principles, meaning that if you get knowledge of kingdom principles and you execute you take action and you apply these principles to your life you will see fruit do you understand me it will manifest in your life and when i say a principle is a fundamental truth we got to understand what is the truth if a principle is a fundamental truth then what is the truth toya well i'm glad you asked baby because his word is the truth his word every word that god speaks out of his mouth is the truth it is the only truth it is the only truth that ever was it is the only truth that ever will be that will ever exist is the words that god spoke out of his mouth he is alpha and omega he is the beginning and the end and everything in between baby he is god and what he speaks out of his mouth is truth he is king king baby and what he speaks out of his mouth is law okay so the principles are the
the words that the Lord has spoken out of his mouth. It's the words, it's the scriptures that you're going to find in the, in, in your Bible. Okay. That those are the principles. And that is the truth. That is the only truth. Like I said, we can't speak our truth. I can't say I come to speak my truth. No, I come to speak the truth. His word is the only truth. There is nothing outside of his word. If you separate the word, you separate yourself from the word. You just talking some gibberish, baby. And these people that's teaching, you know, uh, business, business stuff and teaching you how to grow your business and how to scale your business, all of that. If it's, if it's successful and if it's working, I can guarantee you that there's a principle that they are using. I can guarantee you that there's a scripture somewhere that they are using, whether they want to give God his credit or not. I can guarantee you that there, there's a scripture that they're using. I can guarantee you that they're teaching based upon a biblical principle, whether they want to call it a biblical principle or not. A lot of these folks, they write their books from the word. They, they create courses from the word. So all of it is coming from the word. There's the, and that's because there is only one truth and that is the word of God. His word is law. His word is the principle. His word is the fundamental truth that the universe, that everything, that all of creation was built upon. So it is the only truth. And so I said all of that to say, as I began to study and get revelation from God, he revealed to me that the keys that Jesus left us are not a physical set of keys. And this scripture does not mean that you're supposed to walk around pointing at everything saying, I bind you in the name of Jesus. I loose that in the name of Jesus. No, because you're not going to get no results like that. These keys that Jesus left us, he is talking about the word of God. He is talking about kingdom principles that the universe, that all of creation was built upon. He was talking about the word of God, the truth. He left us that. And he, and he left us that because he knows that if we pick up the truth and if we apply the truth to our life, if we learn the truth about who we are and we learn the truth about God and where God is and we learn the truth about our power, once we learn that, he knows that we will no longer be in bondage. We will no longer be in captivity by the enemy. That society, that the world will no longer be able to control us in that way. But we will regain control of our life. And we will be able to tap into things that other people are still locked out of. We'll be able to use those keys, which is the truth, which is the law, which is the principles. We will be able to use those keys and unlock levels of success and unlock new territory and new rooms and, and, and access new levels. We'll be able to access the abundant life that Jesus promised us. He said, I come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. Glory be to God. So I just wanted to come on and, and talk to y'all before I go in the gym this morning, because I'm actually I'm using one of the keys right now. I do not want to go in here and work out. I do not feel like it. I, I'm not excited about it. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not pumped. I'm not thrilled about working out today, but I'm applying one of the keys that Jesus left for us. One of the keys of the kingdom is consistency, is consistency, is vision. Another key is vision and another key is consistency. So I'm actually applying two keys right now. I have a vision in my mind of what my body, what I want my body to look like, my health and fitness, my, my weight loss transformation. I have a vision in my mind of what I desire to look like physically, not just on the outside, but I also want to feel good on the inside. I want to have more energy. I want to be stronger. I want to be able to, to run and, and play and keep up with my children. I want to, I want to remain youthful like i want to continue to feel youthful and i just want to feel i just want to be energetic and have more energy so it's not just about looking good on the outside it's not just about the aesthetics but it's also about feeling good on the inside and and having good internal health as well so i have a vision for all of that so i'm using one principle by having a vision the bible says write the vision and make it plain um write the vision and make it plain and it says even though for a period of time the vision is going to be quiet meaning that you're not going to see any evidence of your vision coming into fruition it says to wait for it for at the appointed time it will surely speak even though it tarries even though it lingers the bible says wait for it 
So that's the key. That's something that Jesus left for us. He's telling you, if you want to become something greater than what you are right now, if you want to see transformation in your life, if you want to have success in an area of your life, you must be able to see a outcome that is not physically there yet. You must be able to have a vision. You must be able to see a better outcome in the future. And you got to see it in your mind before you can actually see it in your reality. That is a key. That is a principle that will unlock your destiny. And that's what God revealed to me. He said, these keys that Jesus left for you, he says, these are the keys that are going to unlock your destiny. You cannot access what God has for you except you pick up your keys. That's what I hear God say. Pick up your keys, except you pick up your keys. What does that mean? Except you learn the truth about who God is, about where God is, about what God says about you, except you get in his word and seek his kingdom and learn his law, learn his word. You have to eat, sleep and breathe his word, baby. And you have to become his word. And once you do that, you will be able to unlock everything that God has for you. You will be able to unlock your destiny. And people are going to wonder, how are you doing what you're doing? How, how do you look the way you look? How are you succeeding the way that you're succeeding? How are you getting healed the way you're getting healed? How are you being happy and prosperous and, and, and having a successful business the way you're doing? And it's going to be because you picked up your keys and you unlocked your inheritance. You unlock your destiny that God has for you. So the other principle that I'm using is consistency. I understand that if I have a vision in my mind, this is based upon fundamental truths that, that God set into place when he created the universe, when he created us, when he created everything. You cannot go against principles. They don't care about how you feel. The principles don't care about um, do you feel like doing it today or are you, are you um, you know, do you got something going on in your life right now? Principles don't care. Principles like, look, if you tap into me and you apply me, I'm going to work for you. So consistency is a key that is going to unlock your destiny. It is a principle. Glory be to God. It cannot fail you. Do you understand me? I know that if I have a vision in my mind of how I want my health and fitness to be, and if I am consistently taking action and moving towards that, it's only a matter of time before I get the outcome that I desire. See, I'm going to be able to unlock something that other people are still locked out of. Why? Because I'm using my keys. You got to use your keys, baby. Pick up your keys, okay? I love y'all so much. Let me get on in here, baby. And 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 we got to put this thing into action. No longer can we just talk about the word, but we got to walk the word out. We have to pick up our keys, become the word. For the scripture declares that the word became flesh and dwelt among them. It's not just talking about Jesus, baby, but it's also talking about us. We have to become the word. We have to become the word in the flesh. We got to take these words off of these, off of this paper, out of that Bible, out of that Bible app. You've been sitting in Bible study all these years. You've been on the prayer line all these years. You've been sitting in church on the pews all these years. But when are you going to take these scriptures and begin to walk them out? When are you going to pick up your keys and start unlocking what God has for you? You got to put one foot in, the, in front of the other, baby, and you got to get moving. Do you understand me? You got to get moving. But I want y'all to understand that his word is truth. If you didn't hear me say nothing else, you better make sure you heard me say that. You can't make up the truth. You can't go to you can't go to school to try to find out the truth. You can't go to the library to try to find out the truth. You if you want to know the truth, you got to go to the word. You got to go to the scriptures. You got to get that Bible. You got to get in them scriptures and you got to go to the word of God because his word is the only truth. And if you ain't speaking that, you telling a lie. Pick up your keys, baby. I love y'all so much. Now, y'all go down there in the description to any of my divine ones who have not gotten in the divine ones. Get fit challenge. It's a 90 day health and fitness challenge that's going to help you to transform your body and reach your health and fitness goals. It's a course curriculum that I have created for you inside of my academy that you can follow along with as we go through the challenge. If you have not signed up, I want you to get in there right now. We're in the pre-order so you can get it at a discounted price. It's only $25, okay? So y'all click the link below and sign up. I love y'all so much. Let's start picking up our keys and let's start unlocking what God has for us. It's not going to be easy, baby, but it's going to be well worth it, okay? I love y'all and I'll check in with y'all later.